Well, let's get this out of the way. I've actually been waiting for Gloomwood for quite some time, ever since the developer announced it. So I'm a little bit biased towards this kind of thing. I think that the developers did a fantastic job. I'm really happy that the game is in early access. However, this review is subjective to the fact that this is in fact early access. There's not really a lot of content in the game right now. I was able to do pretty much everything that there is to do, including finding the secret gun, all in about two hours of playtime. Now that said, I can still very easily recommend Gloomwood just because I know that this product is a love child from the developers who clearly take huge inspiration from the old school Thief games. And so far, they've actually managed to make something very special. See, Gloomwood is trying to look retro that's that's their goal here so that's why the graphics kind of look bad but the gameplay is far from it it actually feels very very smooth and very modern oh <laughs> whoa i don't know <laughs> what happened there dude that was pretty cool the game actually commits to the retro style a lot further than I was expecting it to. So while you've got multiple levels in the game, they're actually all interconnected and you're going to be constantly unlocking shortcuts where you'll go, oh, okay, so that's a shortcut. I lowered the rope in there and then this is a rope that goes all the way back to uh, another spot I was at pre previously. And for the most part, the reason why these shortcuts are so good is because it's going to end up leading you back to a checkpoint. That's right, Gloomwood has manual saving at specific locations. Obviously, it adds a certain amount of tension when you end up coming across a couple enemies. You don't really want to be super duper risky because you don't know whether or not it's going to end up paying off. And this can really add to the tension and atmosphere of the game. Now, on the flip side, the reason why I would prefer to be able to just drop down a quick save is because I really like experimenting with games like this. I feel like Gloomwood should at least have the option of being able to do quick saves. I could totally understand if they put it to the easiest difficulty or even made it a cheat. I, I don't know if this game even has cheats, but I feel like it could really benefit to have them. But anyways, I'm not trying to go on a tangent on this thing. I think the main reason why we've got these manual save locations is because at the end of the day, this game is extremely short. While the gameplay is solid and the world itself is actually extremely intricate and I love every second of playing this game, it kind of felt like just when things started to get interesting, it was over. Whoa. Ah. Uh. Oh no. No. And the funny thing is that near the end of my play session with Gloomwood is when the game started to really step up. You end up getting a shotgun, there's hints of different weird creatures that you're gonna have to deal with. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't wanna go in, I don't wanna go in. And throughout the entire game, you're constantly collecting money, but there's no shop in sight. The funny thing is that when you end up getting near the end, that's when the game starts hinting you that you're going to be able to go into this big city and that's where there's going to end up being the shop. Oh, don't tell me this game's going to go big mode and that's going to be like a whole level. Whoa. My store is in the market district. It's but currently, there's no way of actually getting in there. The other thing too is, as I mentioned earlier, I think that cheat codes would be perfect for this type of a game because as of right now the only thing that you end up earning once you complete the early access is you'll end up getting a safe combination to a secret cave that ultimately is going to end up giving you a gun that you've been collecting ammo for during your entire play session so what does this gun do well it has fire ammo which can end up setting enemies on fire and so on and so forth but more importantly it's the only weapon in the game that can shoot out light sources personally speaking i feel like i should have been able to use my melee weapon to break light sources and then this gun's advantage would be the fact that it's ranged now the thing is there's not really much reason to get a weapon like this so late in my play session because obviously i already did everything and pretty much killed like 90 percent of the enemies so what would be the point in shooting 
out the lights. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Gloomwood ends up doing something that a lot of games don't do very well, and that is replay value. The way that Gloomwood adds replay value is because now that you know where this gun is and what the safe combination is, when you end up going for your second run at the start of the game again, you could just go and grab that right away. On top of that, the map is just so intricate that I guarantee your first time through, you're gonna slowly discover all sorts of alternative pathways that you could then end up taking advantage of in your second playthrough. Now, if I ever end up replaying this game, I know that I can just take a little dip off of that little cliff face, and then we could go down here and just avoid the enemies altogether. Top that with the fact that we're supposed to be getting the city later on, and I think that this game is going to end up being quick and to the point, just like the gameplay itself is, while also having multiple layers of gameplay and depth. Which is why, even though this game is super duper early access, I do gotta give it a solid three out of five. See, these are passionate developers working on a passion project. So I don't think it's going to end up getting abandoned like so many other early access games do. And so long as they can keep development time efficient enough that this game doesn't just disappear into obscurity, I think that they'll end up having something very special on their hands with this game. I wonder if, you know what? Ha 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 ha!